good whatever part of the day it is. This is a Detroit style pizza pan made out of carbon steel shipped from Motor City itself. I learned about this in the Pizza Bible uh, recipe book. I'm gonna link that below for you to take a look at. It's pretty neat. I got my pan started with Buzzy Wax, which is canola oil mixed with beeswax. Once it's seasoned, just like carbon steel always behaves, it's gonna get nice and dark and some varying shades of blue, some pink, some brown. Uh, very characteristic of what we're looking for here. These were actually used in uh, auto factories to hold bolts uh, back in the uh, earlier days of the Detroit auto boom. So we're going to carry that tradition with us today. Now I'll absolutely put some more details in the description. This dough recipe is from the, the Pizza Bible book by uh, Tony Gemiani, and this is on page 48. It's the uh, Master Dough Without Starter. That's what it recommends for trying with the uh, Detroit style pizza. And I'm just gonna show you the bowl every now and then to see, show you the different stages. I'm dumping in my yeasty water, and then I'm gonna rinse out the rest of the bowl to make sure I don't leave anything behind. In an attempt to stay tidy, I kept the most of the mixing process to the bowl itself. I'm gonna go ahead and keep mixing it for a moment and then cover it with a towel to let it rest for five minutes or so so I can continue working it. When I was doing that shot, I was asking myself, is it worth it if the bowl just goes right off the counter? If I ever do that, I will probably just leave it in. Uh, you don't need to use as much olive oil as I use here. I went a little crazy. Uh, we're gonna put some dry spices. I think I used oregano and basil and then some thinly sliced garlic and tomato paste. You just kind of fry it all together till the whole kitchen smells wonderful. There, there's a cat. That, there it was. All right, you'll see the color of the oil is changing a little bit. It's gonna get kind of a more orange color, kind of like this before we go in with our uh, can of San Marzano tomatoes. Make sure you salt this as well because, you know, otherwise it's bland. So yes, I did use an immersion blender. Stick to pulsing it just a few times so you can leave some chunky bits in there. It makes a much nicer end product. All right, so if you haven't figured it out, we're using pepperoni, uh, which I've prepared. Now our dough is rested, we're gonna punch that down. And I'm gonna brush oil all over the bottom of this. Now this is somewhere in here is where I'm making my error. I layered my dough out in that oiled pan. I think I should have oiled the dough as well from what my research told me, because I just had a problem with it sticking in that bottom layer there. Either way, we're just gonna put a towel over it after we stretch it to the corners. It's gonna need a while to rise. I put a sheet pan over it just to keep the moisture trapped inside as an extra seal. I was able to find brick cheese, so I, I used that. This is the this was the first one that I did, and you'll see how uh, it looks different coming out of the oven. That's because uh, I had to do a take two. I did mess this one up. It, it stuck really bad to the bottom of the pan. It was very frustrating, but you know what? We tried again, and this was attempt number two. Not bad, it has a nice bubble there. One of the things I'm very happy with here is you hear that bubbling sound from the dough kind of just frying in its place. And here's the stressful part for me, man, just like chipping away at that thing, trying to like get it to pop out. I just didn't have that same magic. And here's where you'll want multiple consistencies. You'll see it when I put the sauce on the top as is characteristic here, it's way too thin. See that, don't you just want some like chunkier bits in there? Just, just learn, just learn from my mistakes, okay? Just do it. When I sliced in, I got some good resistance and you'll hear some crunchy bits in a little bit. You know how it goes. No pizza is bad pizza. But if you've made this before, uh, let me know what your experience was. Did you use the blue steel pan or the nonstick? Thank you again for watching. 
you have any tips for me on this recipe, please leave them in the comments below, like and share. Uh, still on the journey to master this one. I'll probably cycle back later at 129 subscribers. Let's keep it going. Have a good day.